We built not one, but two Hyrule castles in just four hours. The four hour build challenge is back. And if you're new to this, we put a bunch of ideas on the building will of destiny and whatever it lands on, we build. We've built a bunch of amazing things in the past and today's build may be one of my favorites. Today I'm building with Maka Makes, Immature Gamer, and the winner of my hub contest, Cross. Cross is an amazing map maker and we would have invited him to this anyways, but he also just happened to win the contest. Clearly you already know what the wheel's gonna land on, but let's just see how the spin went anyway. Okay, guys, you guys ready for this spin? Here we go. Here we go. gonna be spinning. Oh, Hyrule Castle. So the issue with landing on Hyrule Castle is there are 22 Zelda games and almost as many Hyrule Castles. Which one do you build? For me, it came down to the Breath of the Wild Hyrule Castle or the Ocarina of Time Castle. The Breath of the Wild Castle is so vast and so huge, and there's really no way we could do that in four hours. The Ocarina of Time Castle just made a lot more sense. And as we started talking, we thought it would be really cool to have the castle when you're a kid and then Ganon's castle when you're an adult. So we got to work and split up our duties. Maka Makes is going to make the Hyrule Castle when Link is a child, and I made Ganon's castle when Link is an adult. Cross was in charge of doing all of the terrain, and Immature Gamer, who is our master mechanic, of course, was gonna build an awesome and unique box fight. Each one of these guys has made an awesome video about their perspective, so make sure you go and watch them. The links to those will be in my description below. For me, I was really excited about building this castle. The Ocarina of Time is probably my number one favorite game of all time, so this definitely had a special place in my heart. But on top of that, I felt like my skills as a builder have really improved and I could really contribute to this build. When we first started the four hour build challenges, I definitely felt like I was tagging along with these amazing builders. And while yes, I contributed, they were pulling the main weight. But I've been practicing my builds a lot since then and now I feel like I can really contribute to these builds. And on this particular build, I was in charge of one of the main centerpieces of the map. So now let me show you how I built this castle. The first step was to plan out how big I wanted this castle to be. My castle was gonna be on the bottom of the map and then Maka Makes was gonna build his castle on the top. So I decided how tall I wanted it, and then Maka placed down a bunch of clouds to separate the two castles. That looks awesome. The next important step was to really determine exactly what my diameter of the castle was gonna be, and that set the stage for the rest of the build. The next critical step to this build was picking out the pieces that were going to make up the composition of the castle. I really wanted something that was dark, but that was also a clean brick look. We eventually settled on an awesome wall piece found in the dark, tilted galleries. It had just the right look for the castle. So as you can see in this picture of Ganon's tower, there are two main things that I needed to build. One is the towers, and two is the walls. I started on the tower first because I felt like it would define how the walls would look. I actually built this with built a prop off so that I could easily place the walls and the accents because it was only a one by one tower. I found this accent piece in the dark tilted gallery. It really added some character to the tower. And then I also found this top piece from the princess gallery and positioned it just right so that it worked for the top of the tower. My tower is looking a little bland, so I added that same accent pieces that's on the corner to the middle. And then I resized one of the black roof pieces pieces from the princess galleries to act as the spikes at the top of the tower. In the end, I felt like it turned out pretty good. Then I moved on to building the wall of the castle, which takes the exact same principles and pieces that I used on the tower, but then just building it out for the wall. I wanted the wall to be three blocks wide. That way, when I copied and pasted it in a circle, everything would match up pretty close. Now that I had my wall done, I brought it up to where I wanted the castle to be, and I just did a simple circle trick to really create the first wall. Then I placed the towers at the joints of the wall. I placed them all the way around just like it is in Zelda. And then I added another black roof piece in some of the towers just to add a little bit of character. Then it was just completing that same process for the other levels. I did place some of the towers in different positions just to have a little bit more of a tiered look. But with this build, once I had my templates all set up, building everything else was really quick. The next two tiers were more of the same, but they were a little bit smaller. This one was only two blocks wide. And then the top one was one block wide in a circle. Finally, at the very top, I put a princess gallery roof. And then I got a compliment from the master architect Maka makes. Really impressed me with this one, Master, not gonna lie. And then a really well thought out response. It turned out Cross suggested we add a staircase at the top, which looked awesome, polished off some of the terrain, and Ganon's castle was done. <laughs> Last thing I did was help finish the terrain in the top part of the map. I built the path that leads up to the castle. Then after putting a few trees, bushes, and grass around the map, we were done. The game 
gameplay in this is incredibly unique. Yes, it's a box fight, but it's super advanced. When you die in the box fight, you get warped to the Adult Link Castle, where you can play in another box fight waiting for the round to end. The awesome thing about this map is that if you join in the middle of a match, you get warped down to Ganon's Castle, where you can play and wait for the next round to begin. There are all sorts of advanced mechanics on this. You'll have to watch Immature Gamers video to get the down low on that. But guys, this map was so fun to make. I hope you guys will play it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to all the people who participated in this and have an awesome day.